I am here with an old friend, Richard McElhaney. It seems like the only time you come to visit me is when Haystack Connects around. What's up with that? Oh, that's uh, unfortunately true, but Derek, we'd like to see a lot more of you down under, that's for sure. So you got to you got to come visit us someday, but uh, no. Hang on, hang on, when are we leaving? I've, I've got a bag, i got to see. Let's go, Let, let's go. We, can, we can hit the beaches right now, it's still right, warm. Well, it's um, winter time down there. Yeah, well, anyway. not, not so cool. Right, uh, look, no, we are, we're back with Project uh, with, with Haystack Connect 2023, and, and we've had a really great first day. We've just kicked off this morning. Uh, we've got a lot of great people behind us here, uh, taking opportunity to see the booths of our sponsors, and we, we thank all of our sponsors, because without them, we, we wouldn't be able to put these events on. But we kicked off this morning with some great presentations, uh, and I think you would have noticed as well, some really great audience participation. Yeah, a, lot a lot of conversation, of a lot of questions back and forth, um, and all that. But I think one of the headline topics today that, um, that, that we're really proud to announce and, and get involved with and, uh, and, and talk about is uh, the new technology called Zito that is, is, uh, has evolved out of the DOE benefit project that um, the Project Haystack is leading. And for those who may not know, Project Haystack has led a consortium of five companies um, and was very fortunate and lucky to, uh, to win funding from the DOE to produce this latest technology. And so that's what we're talking about here at uh, Haystack Connect 2023. Just talking to the folks here, there's a lot of people who are interested in that. It's going to be a game changer in the industry, and um, look, we're just gonna we're gonna keep hammering it home that this is the direction that that we're moving. It's a direction the industry is moving, and everyone's gonna need to get on board with with, with Zito. But yeah, but it, no, it is really cool. It looks like it's just taken to the the next level in terms of ease of use. It seems like it makes it more accessible to people that. Or maybe not with Haystack or whatever. I mean, it just uh, the whole autofill yep. functions and stuff like that, really special. Yeah, absolutely. You've really sort of hit the nail on the head there. It is, it is solving multiple problems. It is solving how people integrate systems. It's solving how people tag systems and model systems. But doing that in a very easy to understand way. Um, the other part of that is also the validation. How do we validate that when a system is built, when it's tagged, when it's modeled, how do we validate that it's been done correctly? If you're a building owner, if you're an operator or a manager and you're paying, you know, a, a controls company to go and do this, well, how do you know they've done it right? Conversely, if you're a, a smart system integrator, what you want to do is you want to be able to leverage this Zito technology in order to reduce your labor cost, make yourself more competitive in the marketplace, and win more work, win more projects. And so oh, absolutely. That's, that's what we're doing. That's where we're going. Well, and you've taken a new role on it uh, with John Petsy retiring. It's like you've stepped up and you're one of the main leaders here well, now, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we paid tribute to John today and we, you know, thank him for his contribution over all the years and hope he still finds time to maybe catch up with some of the news, uh, particularly from your uh, your website. But uh, yeah, look, uh, John did retire and, um, and you know, a sad day for all of us, a friend, a colleague, a mentor, um, but you know, absolutely he's worked hard over the years. So yeah, I, I've stepped up uh, along with uh, Alex Roveda from J2 Innovations and, and Nick Gajewski from Clockwork Analytics and it's taking three of us to fill the shoes of one man, but we're, we're doing our best, we're trying to work hard at it and uh, we'll, we'll see how we we'll go. Let's tell John what we really think. John, put the mojito down That's and it. come back. Come visit us. Come anytime, visit us John, sure. anytime. Well listen, I want to shift gears real quick and talk yep. about Plant Pro and what absolutely. you got, what you do. Because you've got a really great chiller optimization package, and yep. what's new with Plant Pro? Yeah, so Plant Pro, uh, look, it, it, it's continually developed and evolving. Um, Plant Pro 2.0 has been out in the marketplace for a while now, and one of the things we're doing is is building more and more um, applications into that. So. Traditionally, uh, you're quite right, it's been a chiller plant optimization product. Now with um, you know, the decarbonization strategies we see in the market, the move to electrification, we're now building in a lot of technology around heat pump, reverse cycle heat pumps, um, heat recovery, and how you optimize and run a plant in the best possible way, whilst maintaining everything that's good about Plant Pro in terms of it's a configurable product. You don't have to program it. You can deploy it quickly and easily, maintaining all of that and, and enhancing how we can apply the product uh, to a wider variety of systems and solutions and so that's our focus at the minute um, we're also focusing on connecting plant pro to the cloud using haystack tagging uh, using uh, some new technology that we're trying to bring to the building automation space called Sparkplug. Sparkplug b is a, an application layer protocol for mqtt so automatically connecting plant data to our cloud system using very standardized technology and so that's the direction we're heading in. no no it's really cool my question for you is the australian government still prohibiting you guys from sharing this technology with the rest of the world or are you guys able to sell this in other <laughs> parts of the world. We can sell it everywhere, Eric, and we're always looking for good people to help us out with that. Awesome, awesome. Well, how do people get hold of you guys, Richard? Uh, well, they can uh, come to our, our website, which is www.conserveitiot.com. Uh, you can contact me through the Project Haystack website. You can find me on LinkedIn. Uh, please reach out for any questions around Haystack or Conserve it. Okay. One last word. Let's say it together. John, Patsy, 
put the mojito down and come back. Come back, John. We need you for. Uh, we need. We need to get the interoperable blues band back. That's we, we do, need. man. We do. There was no. There's no blues band. They're playing country. They're playing country music, yeah, John. Should have been country. It's gone to hell because you're not here. Thanks, Richard. Thanks, Jerry. My suitcase is packed and I.